Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel OS VFX. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to make employee assessment meter slide in PowerPoint. Let me just show you how it works. I have got three employees, employee one, employee two and employee three and I want to show which is the top employee out of these three employees. So if I click this one, it will give me the rating of three employees. The first employee got 30% which is average. The second employee got 50% which is good and the excellent employee with 80% score and is the clear winner. So apart from that one, you can use to show this like a human potential meter where you can show him whether it's underutilized, overutilized or just a normal utilized. And apart from that one, you can use something which is the employee of the month and you want to show who is the employee of the month for this month. You can show for the last month as a previous month as well. So let's see how we can do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide. Go to insert shapes, select oval and drag the oval shape by holding the shift key make it align center align middle and shape fill make it no fill go to insert tab again shapes select a rectangle and draw the rectangle till here again make it center and middle shape outline i'll make it no outline and go to insert again shapes select this one which is circle hollow and draw a very small circle while holding the shift key and make sure that the height and width is same 0.25 here all right and then bring this one at the top of the rectangle or you can just select both of these and format align center we need to add uh, the oval shape at the bottom of the line as well first of all select the oval and hold the control shift key together and drag it to the the bottom of the line and select all these three objects right mouse click and group it Make align center, align middle and press control D to get duplicate for this also you make it center and middle and hold the shift key and can you see this the arrow just drag the arrow towards the right side so that it will bend. Alright again press control D and same thing control D duplicate and hold the shift key. Ungroup all the lines, right mouse click, ungroup. Even you can select all and you can ungroup at once. All right, so I'm just going to delete all the lines here. Add one more oval shape. Hold on the shift key and align center, align middle. Make it no outline. Now it's time to give some color to the slides. First of all, changing the background, I'm making it black and then I'm going to change the color of the oval and all other small circles for this one I'm going to use line color which is maybe I'll just go to more colors and I will just select maybe this color and you can go to options which is effects and glow you can give some glow options as well here all right so you can see it's glowing now i'm just going to select the others these options first of all i'm making it no outline and this maybe one two three four i'm going to give this as average so which is uh, a red color give red color and same thing we will give the glow effect 
which is this one and then this will be our a uh, good so this i can give some orange color as well as again give some glow effect which is something orange and this is excellent i'm going to give a green color for this and again give some glow effects which is green and for this also i'm going to give some different color fill color maybe i will use light green and then for this also i'm just going to use some glow effect so color first of all glow i can give this glow and i can just go and change the color to something like this all right now i'm just going to add one more uh, oval shape which is i'll put it black maybe somewhat more i need again make it center make it middle and no outline and this i'm going to use again the black color all right so i can just maybe somewhat bigger i can make align center align middle okay so this is how this will look like now i'm just going to add the needle to add the needle take maybe you can take the arrow this one which is uh, triangle or i'm just going to use say this particular which is in the flow chart terminator maybe we can just uh, reduce somewhat i will make it point 10 maybe yes make it no outline and press ctrl d make it duplicate bring this one here exactly and for this shape fill make it no fill select both the needles right mouse click and group it i'm just going to use one more small oval shape to put it on top here align center align middle and then we can just give some different color for this maybe i'll just use some sorry this as well as this i'll just use some gray color For this also I'll make it no outline and gray color all right and then this one I'll just rotate and bring it I will leave it here okay now it's time to add text go to insert text and type average and make the font white and go to format effects transform and make it arch and bring it here and just rotate it and then you can further adjust this one all right this is average and then i'm just pressing ctrl d and making this good and just rotate it and then the last is excellent
and then again rotate it and bring it here now it's time to give animation to the needle select the needle go to animations enable the animation pane and add animation select spin all right so i want to spin maybe say 80 degrees and make it fast so it's 80 degrees it's here only so let me just increase to say 160 degrees I'll make it very fast yes so it's 80 degrees so I just I want to give an excellent for this one and you can give some more effects here where you can give some bounce effects I can just increase it here maybe till this part and maybe further I'll increase let's see what is happening yeah this I'll make it maybe medium okay all right so you can see this is how it will look like now I'm just going to hide this area for that I'm going to shapes select this one rectangle and just hide it make it no outline and shape fill with black all right so if you see here okay on click it is happening so similarly what you can do is you can select all press ctrl d and move this here okay again i can select all and press ctrl d and one I will move it here all right so this also press ctrl D and just bring it here okay so for this one I'm just going to select the needle for the group 2 and this instead of 160 I'll make it maybe 90 degrees that is good and say this is average so for this group 3 and this one I will make it maybe 40 degrees so it's average here if you want at one click or if you want uh, together you can just change the, the animation type here all right and then you can add some text here and once the needle finish it should give me the what is the percentage it got so again for that I'm just going to add say this one is say 160 degree one sorry uh, 80% make it white or you can just select some different color as well I'll just select this color and you can give the glow effect here so 80 is what who is excellent yeah 80 is this one all right so this should appear animation appear after this one the first one with previous so that will look something like this okay or you can make this one as after previous 80 degrees okay maybe with previous but you can make a small delay 0.5 seconds okay like this so just you can add the text here so once you have done you can just add the employee name if you have the icon add the icon and the result will something look like this so that's it from me friends hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel OSVFX. see you soon with more interesting stuff till then have a nice weekend